this demo, we're checking out a pedal that combines two all-time classic modulation pedals, the Chorus Ensemble and the Deluxe Electric Mistress. Introducing the Deluxe Modulation Ensemble from JFX Pedals. Now this is a beautifully made pedal, as you can see, and it sounds incredible too. I love the little nods to the original artwork as well. And functionally, you get all the cool stuff that was in the original pedals too. You've got a much loved C1 preamp in here. This button turns off the chorus. Uh, this one selects between chorus or vibrato mode. And this foot switch here turns on the flanger side of the pedal. You also have mono and stereo out. And over on the flanger side here, you've got the filter matrix and the direct out as well all in a pedal board friendly sized box. Especially if you compare this to the size of the original units. There's also an effects loop as well. So these are two completely different circuits, completely separate, they're wired in series, but you can um, use the effects loop to put other pedals in between the flanger and the chorus. So let's check out some tones. Now we have to take a quick look at some Red Hot Chili Peppers with John Frusciante because he uses the C1 preamp as part of his core tone. So if we take hard to concentrate, there's a part in that at the end that uses a little bit of it. So you have the uh, main chords, these are clean now. Well, we're just using the C1 preamp, right? <laughs> And then with these flanger settings, check this out. good stuff right let's have a quick look at the filter matrix setting so i've engaged that uh basically what that does is it disengages the sweep that you get right so you can kind of manually position the like filter right so you get often quite metallic -y sounding tones but the color knob uh, is heavily involved in how much you know metal you add to your tone so i'm going to show you four positions of the color knob starting at about nine o'clock and we're going to use robin trower's somebody calling for this because it's got a great example of that in it <laughs> Very subtle, right? Now check it out with the color knob set halfway. Much closer to the original, right? That's where I'd have it actually for that tone. But for the sake of demonstration, this is it at uh, three o'clock. more metallic and just for fun here's it up full now with these settings we've turned the filter matrix off now we're going to have a look at a couple of examples of Andy Summers with the police first up Message in a bottle. And I'm going to show you the low and the high setting of the CE1 side, right? Because even though the chorus isn't engaged, you can still toggle between the low and the high. So low sounds like this. <laughs> actually turn the level control ever so slightly down because you get a huge volume boost but it's now pushing the front end of my tube amp right so in high we have this
next example, we're going to look at Bring On The Night. This has a really cool movement in the flanger, right? But I'm going to show you it with the chorus as well. So this is without the chorus, just the flange side at the moment. <laughs> going on right and when you've got enough you, know, you get that time to hear it moving right let's try it with the chorus as well but I've literally just got the intensity right in the middle Sounds great, doesn't it? Just adds a really lovely chewiness to it. Let's head straight over to the chorus side. We're going to turn the flanger off for a second. Just some very mild chorusing we're looking at. And we're going to do Metallica's Nothing Else Matters. Metallica's Cleans, they've always used like a, a JC120, which has a chorus built into it, right? So the C1 was the chorus that they put into that amp. So hence my selection. This is it without. And with very mild bit of chorus. You know, all that good stuff, right? Next up with the chorus intensity in the middle, we're going to add some gain and we're going to do another Red Hot Chili Peppers one, Mellow Ship Slinky, which is superb. Sounds like this. Now same chorus setting, no distortion though. Bit of Cindy Lauper, right? Time after time. So I'll continue to show you the range of chorus with this riff, right? So this is halfway, as I say. Really nice for this tune. Here's it at three o'clock. seasicky isn't it and then up full now if you want to go even crazier than that if you press on the chorus button again we're into the vibrato side of the pedal, okay? So let's do a couple of those. So that's the depth and the rate in the middle, sounds lush. Again, very different to the chord, almost getting into tremolo, isn't it? Now, if we turn up the depth a little bit. Lovely with chords, isn't it? Bit of Jeff Buckley. Let's put the flange on as well. Now, a fun example, if you want to really get crazy with it, I've cranked the depth right up. So we have. <laughs> so we're still on the vibrato side, as you can probably tell.
bit of David Bowie, Ashes to Ashes. And if you turn on the flanger as well. Maybe a touch of distortion too. Good fun, right? So I hope you've enjoyed this one. And if you like the look and the sound of this bad boy, then head over to JFX Pedals. Jordan's basically a one-man band operating out of uh, Canada, and he makes a range of cool stuff, especially if you're a John Frusciante fan. But I'm going to play you out with some Dean DeLeo, Stone Temple Pilots, Dead and Bloated. So this is just the distortion. <laughs> And this is it with the chorus added. See you soon.